Hello everybody, welcome to Chow Time. I am Spike Spencer, welcome to my kitchen. Today is a bit of a trip down nostalgia way. The first thing I ever cooked in my life that I remember is like the first, I'm gonna cook, this is what I'm gonna do. And I love Chinese food. So I cooked spicy stir fry cabbage. That's it, really, really simple. I mean, we are talking what, two, three, four ingredients. I mean, it's simple. Um, it's your basic, basic stir fry. That's how I started to learn to cook. And I got the recipe from Betty Crocker Cooks Chinese. I know, great story, right? Anyway, I've gotten better. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna just do a spicy, uh, spicy cabbage stir fry, which is, it could be used as a side dish, uh, but stir fry is usually a one pot deal. So you could do a spicy cabbage stir fry and then you could have chicken with that or beef or whatever. It's a really good uh, to, to build on. So we're gonna do that. I've got a, a wok here that is uh, firing up. I can feel the heat. Uh, so normally I would just uh, chop up some uh, onions, uh, nice and thin, but I've got some pre-cooked over here. Well, not pre-cooked, they're, uh, they're actually melted onions from uh, Thomas Keller cookbook. But hey, you know what's good in a wok? Butter, here we go. I'm gonna throw some of these in here. That will not take long, so I'm gonna chop our cabbage up. And I don't mind, I don't want it to be super thin, uh, but easy enough to move around. Hold on, this is down the middle there. Some of these are a little tight. Beautiful. So that is ready to go. So we're in a wok now. If you are familiar with Chinese cooking, you need uh, garlic and ginger, right? You're gonna need some oil, obviously, but I had a lot of butter in those onions, so I'm gonna drop them in first. There we go, now they're doing their thing. That is gonna saute fast. So normally, what I learned early on was to put in the ginger and the garlic and get that going, and then you throw everything else in. I have found over time, I don't like that. Um, I have found that uh, it just it can sometimes burn if you you know look away or sneeze. So I will just throw all of my stuff in, get that going. Then I will add. Here's what we're look dealing with right here, guys. We got some cabbage and onions. That's all we got going on right now. Very, very simple. I'm gonna let that go for a minute. Not too long because it's stir fry. It's fast, fast, fast. Um, that's one of the reasons why stir fry is so great. It's high, high heat, and it's you cut the uh, the ingredients smaller so they'll cook quicker, and they'll brown nice and fast too, which is nice. So this is we're almost there. So I've got some garlic. I'm gonna throw some garlic in. I'm gonna throw some ginger. I know it's pre-cut ginger. I didn't have any. I really like ginger. I'm gonna hit it with a little sesame oil. There we go. A little bit of soy sauce. There we go. Just a touch. And then we've got our chili paste. So this is where you can kind of go off in different arenas. You can go off in uh, Japanese, uh, Chinese, uh, Korean, whatever you want, Thailand, depending on the type of pepper you choose. It's not a big deal. It could be anything you want. This is also where you... Oh, wait, wait. Before I put anything else, a little bit of ground white pepper. Man, white pepper just, mm, it is so good. And a touch of salt. There we go. We're almost done. I mean, this is a quick, quick dish, guys. There we go. Now I'm gonna add my spice. This is where, depending on how spicy it is, how spicy you want it, I'm gonna put a nice little teaspoon. I think that's more than enough for this one. In fact, it could just probably blow your head off. There we go. Okay, see how I'm mixing it around? We've got that nice peppery. Ooh, I can smell that pepper. Mm, 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 mm. Every cuisine has a nice spicy peppery dish. And this is this one for today. That is pretty much it, guys. I'm going to turn this off. We're gonna plate. This is one of the real, real quick. If you have onion, cabbage, and some stuff, you got a side dish. 
or possibly the base of a protein. Slap a steak on that. Slap some chicken on that. Fish. It doesn't matter. This is a great dish as a base. But we're serving it up on its own today. I'm going to put some right here in this beautiful bowl that I have had for 30 years. Sauteed cabbage. All right, let's see how spicy it really is. Oh man, that's so good. There's that spice. I'm gonna dribble a little bit of sesame oil. You gotta care with your sesame oils. It's gotta be a, it's gotta be toasted. It's gotta have that flavor. When you open it up, it's got that, oh, you can just smell the flavor. Cause I've had sesame oils where you open it up and you smell it's like, that doesn't smell like anything. And, and that may be okay if that's what you want. Use it for cooking. But I, for me, sesame oil has always been that one of those components in uh, Chinese cooking that you just, oh, you, just, you, you smell it. And you, yep, yep, I know that smell. Mm, beautiful. All right. There we have it, guys. We have sautéed spicy cabbage. First dish I ever made. It is excellent. It is earthy. It is umami flavored and spicy and just beautiful. And I love it. And it makes my heart happy that I'm, I'm able to do that for you guys. There you go. Okay, guys, um, that's it. This is Chow Time. Spike Spencer here saying please like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> I got a little bit of that spicy right there. Whoa, nice. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, tell me some of your favorite Chinese dishes or what was the first dish you ever cooked. That will be interesting. Makes for some good comments and discussion. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Spike Spencer saying adios. It's chow time. Let's see.